and gentlemen, if I can please have your attention, and please welcome to the microphone our hostess for this evening, the one and only, the spectacular, Miss Charlie Matthews. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ralph. This is why we love him. So I wanted to be in a fashion show since I was a little girl. I used to dress up in all of my mom's gowns that she bought from a you know secondhand store or something. And one of the pictures that I have that I wish I had brought with me is a picture of me in a green cocktail dress that was too big for me. The straps, you know, weren't in the right place. And posing as a 12 year old in front of a sign, you know those men working signs, those orange ones? With the letters W-O pasted in front of them in green letters. And so it said, women working, and I was posing in my outfit. There's a lot of things wrong with that, okay? Um, to be pretty in front of a sign that says women working. But, for you know, okay, yeah, I'm sure I probably thought that's what I needed to do. But what I found out is that kind of looking back, that I needed to know the opportunities that women had. The, the opportunities that they can dress up and be cute if they want to, um, or they can wear a hard hat or safety boots, which I love to do, and still be able to work in any field that they want to. So it's looking back on that, somebody said today that this is my dream come true, that this is, I'm the person to do this, and I think that's true. So before I get upset, uh, and that's a good upset, you know, with tears and all. I think we should start the fashion show. I wanted to bring everyone's own unique style to this conference. And the theme was be yourself. And all I could think is an engineer can be themselves. And I have a role model that I look up to now who would say that I'm her role model. And I just wanted to let her have the space because she is doing this online, rocking the fashion. And I fell in love with her from the first time I saw her, not just because of the fashion, which is amazing, but she is a pump engineer. Elena Rodriguez, she's gonna open the show for us. Elena. Rodriguez. This is her original style. I am so jealous of that red suit, by the way. Doesn't she look amazing? Next up is Kaylee Looney. She actually designed her dress. She dreams of being a fashion designer, and today she is as well as an engineer. Megan Spain is our next model. Man, does she have all kinds of style. She had her boots on earlier, and now she's sporting that suit, among some other things we'll talk about later. Jennifer Lynn Robinson, award winner for marketing and everything else awesome. She has so many stylish things. Karen Laos, bringing it, bringing her orange, which is her bold color, also fell in love with Karen when I met her. Ariana, I forgot how to pronounce her last name, but she's amazing. She is sporting her fashion. She is becoming the next role model for all of our future generations. I'd like to welcome back to the stage Kaylee Looney. So if she can just make her way back on stage, because it takes guts to design your own outfit made out of 3D printing that glows in the dark. Can we cut those lights down just for a second? Look at that! It's constellation, y'all. Wonderful, wonderful. Our 
next brand is Juno Jones, which you've heard a lot about tonight. They have a mission to create safe, beautiful footwear options for women by women, and doing this to help normalize the idea that women in non-traditional fields can also be stylists, right? Studies have shown that women and girls often drop off STEM education jobs, which is a tragedy, by the way. Part of the reason is they feel like they don't fit in. They can't be themselves. We want women to be able to be beautiful and strong. We want them to feel their best. And Juno Jones, and we'll get into who created that later, but for now, let me show you what Juno Jones is all about. Crystal Zaman, award winner. Leadership. Diala Ray, other award winner, past award winner. Haley Looney in the house again, rocking some Juno Jones. Baby. Rebecca Mechtensheimer in the house. Bill Miller in the house. That girl's got energy. Leadership. Rocking the hard hats and the safety boots. Beautiful, beautiful. Next up we have Desiree Hurst. She is amazing sporting her boots. As well as that little baby in the tummy. We are so proud. Don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but we are so women can work and have babies, can wear safety boots or hard hats. And now I want to welcome to the stage, Empowering Woman of the Year, Emily Salaby. She is the founder of Juno Jones. She makes stylish safety boots that she's showing off right now. Red is my color and she is sporting it. The one thing that I see about her is that she is a founder of Hazard Girls Community, that is tradeswomen. That includes a few more of us that maybe aren't tradeswomen. But I like to claim that I'm an honorary tradeswoman, especially when I'm wearing my Juno Jones. There's some more boots. All right, our next brand is Dovetail. And I just have to say something about Dovetail. I reached out to them and immediately Kate Day responded, says, I'm gonna send you those pants. I've been wearing those pants this whole entire week of the trade show and I've loved them. So I just wanna give a shout out to Dovetail. They're not here to walk the show, but Dovetail was created to encourage women to enter non-traditional fields. And they're doing that by showing, there was two ladies working in the landscape industry and they were like, man, these jeans just aren't gonna cut it. They keep getting holes in them, they can't handle the work. And so one of their clients, which I love this story, their client named Sarah, she's in the apparel industry and she said, I got I can solve that problem for you. And so these dovetail workwear creations are in, inspired by the need to have adequate attire so that we can do our jobs. And so you'll see a, a wide variety, but we're gonna start with our models. Come on out. My favorite of the dovetails. Rebecca Mechtensheimer in the house again. If y'all don't know Becca, she is one of the most empowering, inspiring, and cute. I mean, just cute. How cute is that? She's fun. She's smart. She's killing it. 
Next up is Stephanie Padachek. Padachek, Padachek, Stephanie Padachek. Everybody. Next up is my mom, Kathy Sharp. Kathy Sharp is sporting a Dovetails shirt. What does it say? Work like a mother. She is my mother. And she is an empowering woman. I got that power pose from her, if y'all didn't notice that. It's straight up Kathy Sharp right there. All right, Desiree Hurst. She's back with us, sporting some dovetail maternity pants. I think they're called something else, but they're, they're under the belly. You know, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, you don't have to show them under the belly, but okay. I said, be yourself, everybody. And she's a mom today. And we, she's also a really, really amazing person in the landscape. And, all right, Liberty is up next for hardworking women. And because they're hardworking, they need safety boots too. So we put on Juno Jones safety boots with their outfits. So Liberty creates workwear for women in heavy duty industries, such as construction and manufacturing. Properly fitting clothes are paramount for their safety for their confidence, for their inclusion in the workforce. Yet women continue to face these poor choices in male-dominated spaces. We're wearing bulky clothing, clothing and boxy men's clothing, and it affects how they show up. And so from the start, Liberty's goal was to build clothes that have the real deal, that are fashionable, and also can handle the toughest, toughest conditions. Modeling tonight, Tradeswoman of the Year, Kaylee Lee. Charlie, and I just have to say why this is important to me. 
These dresses include everything in the STEM, STEAM area. So if you're looking for a dress for your girl, and you don't want it to be pink or Barbie dolls or whatever, and I like pink and Barbie dolls, as you can tell, there are plenty of choices out there, and she has created some really amazing, and I just have to bring these ladies out. Um, yeah, come on out. Kaylee Looney. I think I see space on your dress. Yeah, I think she's into space, NASA. Crystal Zaman, she has learned to work the stage. Let me tell you, she has been presenting today. She has just gotten a new job by asking, and she's an engineer. All right, we're moving on to our next brand, Serafina Safety. This is Rebecca Mexencyber. As she's walking, I want to tell you a little bit about Serafina. They make sports bras, tank tops, fireproof undergarments because even though you have fireproof clothes on, there were women who were getting burned by the straps and the materials of their undergarments, bras, etc. And they wanted to solve that problem. So our next model is Della Ray, Tradeswoman of the Year 2020. female mining experience. Can y'all imagine the female mining experience? Can y'all go there with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alicia Woods called herself by wondering why so many women joined unconventional careers and they still had to wear garments that were made for male body types. The reason is simple. They didn't have a choice. They were, there were no cover coveralls for women available in the market. There, the idea of cover gals was born. With unique features such as a rear trap for women to go to the bathroom, okay? Like, oh yeah. It's much easier to take a, break, a bathroom break now. One of the things I know about Alicia is that she created this brand to solve a problem, but she also created the brand and, and to grow it and be an advocate for women. The three pillars that she likes to uh, consider her company now existing for is health and safety. Can you imagine being in a mine again and not having the proper clothing? Diversity and inclusion, equity and advocacy. Alicia's not able to be here. She did send an amazing video that I'd like to share. Jill Miller is going to rock Safety for Her. Safety for Her was created by Melissa Galeon, who uh, won the award earlier. Her experience was as a woman towing company. Over the years, she struggled with comfortable safety clothing that fit properly. And so she made some leggings. Y'all check out those leggings with reflective tape so we could be comfortable and seen and safe. Safety for Her wants women to feel empowered so that they can set an example for the younger girls. Nothing can stop them from being who they are. Jennifer Watson, everyone. Hard hats and high heels. Yes, ma'am. We can do it both. We have Ebony Wiley in the house. And I just want to thank her because she is not normally in this type of attire. And she said, give it to me. I got this. 
and she's working it. So let's welcome back, well, yeah, back to the stage. The inventor of all of this, our innovator of the year, Melissa Galeon. Melissa is the president of Safety for Her. As you heard earlier, she was inspired by her husband for saying, yes, thank you very much, I can go run the company and do these things. Melissa wants to, women to feel empowered. She wants to set an example for younger women, and she's doing just that. If you haven't seen it, her daughter was also with us during our June fashion show training, uh, model call is what we did, and she was amazing and made all the difference in our photos. All right, Jill is back. She is back in the house. Look at her, here she goes. Jill Miller in, cover gals. Thank you, Jill. You did it, girl. I mean, it took you like a half a second. Thank you. It must be those cover gals being so easy to get into. Thank you, Jill. Now what I want to do is I want to bring back all of our models to the stage. 